Hi, uh, welcome everyone. Uh, this is our basic guide to sending the Cape. Uh, we did this trip a little while back, so I managed to collect some footage together and I wanted to present it in a way that uh, hopefully gives you a bit of an idea from where we went from the northern point of Sandy Cape to North Head itself. We did go elsewhere, but that's going to be a little bit separate because it's mainly just four wheel driving, so it's not a lot of info here. So, this is a little bit of information about Sandy Cape, some of the pros and cons with it, how far away it is. Uh, That's the entry to Sandy Cape itself, so this is where we're at at the moment. And as always, it's time to deflate your tyres because there's some corrugations coming up. <laughs> and uh, with all corrugations, not quite that bad, but hey, um, it helps avoid some of this stuff. Plus, when we go off roading, it's tyre deflation. So this is all speed up. Obviously, I don't drive this fast on this sort of conditions. Sure. If you're liking what you're seeing, hit subscribe, liking and subscribing and commenting um, and checking out any of our footage in relation to trips, also stuff that we do outside of our trips. Giving you some information about fishing because there is uh, this is part of uh, the Jerome Bay marine sanctuary area so there's only certain places you can fish. section here so you can camp in this official campground area so this is the campground in the paid zone so you pay to stay in this area and uh, I think I put in the information there how much it is per night to stay in one of these paid zones. You can tell how much wind up. I mean, we went here on a windy day and it's normally pretty windy, but check out those, those tents, they're blowing pretty out. So here we've got, uh, shows you where the map of where we are. These will pop up here and there and everywhere to help you get an idea of where we are um, in relation to the video. So you can see the camping spots there. So this is one of the first, um, entries to the beach so there's a couple of entries to the beach that you can go on to so this is sandy cape beach or the sandy cape area itself we're driving along the beach uh, as you see it's, an, it's a nice beach to drive on nice sand the most nicest of uh, beaches that i've been to and some of the nicer ones that are along the coastline within that sort of two and a half hour range so you can't continue too much further past this point. There's a rocky outcrop that stops you going further because um, you can't fish anywhere in this area. So you have to go to the other side, a bit further up. And around almost towards uh, there'll be a point on the map I'll point out soon and at the end there'll be a little dot um, I'll, I'll actually show you where it is so anyway we couldn't go any further so you have to come back and then head along the campground you find another track that takes you inland a little bit um, and those red markings that's basically where we're going so that's to show you where this video has been taking so this is the second so we're going past that rocky outcrop through the inside and this is the second beach, as I said. So the second one doesn't it doesn't look as nice. So right up towards the end of the red line is where we finish, and that's the sort of area that you can actually fish right up at the top point. Um, but you can see all the weeds there. And if you took note, just to the right there, there's a track that takes you. Uh, off and you can actually continue inland further north if you wanted to. There's tracks that take you further north. We went south so I didn't explore further north than that rocky outcrop and as I see, <laughs> yeah I feel that it almost was. It feels like it was more um, weeds than it was uh, the actual ocean itself so to get back you've got to come back through the campground the access point uh, a bit south from that point 
and you can get onto the beach itself from here. That's where a lot of people uh, park up, as you can see. And it is very busy. We uh, granted this is the weekend. I think this was still in school holidays, so uh, perhaps a normal weekend, praying maybe a bit better. But, uh, yeah, you can see how quite busy it was, and this is how short it is. It's not a huge long beach in comparison to other ones. That's Sandy Cape Lookout just up the top where the mound, of it, mound is, and you can sort of get a sense for the ocean is like here inside the bay. Yeah, it's nice and quiet. Even with the wind, uh, you're out, uh, you're sheltered from a lot of the the wind and the effect on the, on the waves and the swell and so forth. But yeah, as you can see, it's really, really bad with that weed. Uh, but then again, you can't fish here, so it doesn't really matter. So we just really, this is, that's Sandy Cape, the actual portion itself. And this is lunchtime, we decided to stop here so we could have a 360 view from the actual lookout itself. So this is panning around, so that's the whole cove you can see. And like, as you can see, the, the uh, how much weeds, the weeds are pretty much ev they're everywhere. I mean, granted, yes, you can't fish, so it's not a big deal. You can actually swing back around, you kind of see that um, beach off to the other side. Uh, you can actually get to that one if you take in another route inland inland and more traveling just up from the beach but you can get onto it if you really wanted to and then come up towards this lookout but you're on the lookout they've got the uh, this nice little walkway they've set up so you can actually use this walkway to have a look and see the, see the area which is quite I mean it's quite nice but as you see it's blowing a gale and uh, I don't think it's one of the nicer beaches I've seen. Nice sand, but yeah, a lot of weeds. But that's Sandy Cape itself. So this is where we're going. You can see the markers there on the red. You can always pause and have a look at those. But they're the track. That's the track that we're taking out at the moment to get to North Head, which is the very end of that Sandy Cape area. That's uh, where the World War II bunkers are. Um, so if you're interested, you can go and check that out. It is kind of... It's not a very difficult drive to get there at all. I wouldn't consider it too difficult. Uh, there is a couple of uh, even camping spots along here that people can use. You can see there uh, to the right just before the cutaway to tell you about the Marine Bay and the fact that you can't fish um, there was access to the beach but to the left is also people camp there without uh, having to pay the paid camping zone area uh, so it's not very sandy uh, a little more rocky through fair sections of this so there's a fair bit that you'll do where it's you're trying to avoid most of the limestone rocks and then you'll have patches of sand but overall the difficulty level with this is, is very what I'd say is, is on the lower end of the scale, it's more just about avoiding these as best you can. Right there, nice and smooth. There's a track there that was just to the left. You can take that, it takes you through one of the tracks that's a little bit more inland, so you don't stick to the coast, uh, To the, as you can see here. Um, right near the coast and you have to sort of go across this limestone rocky bumpy area so if you're going across this go nice and easy and slow and um, because some of these can be quite sharp in certain areas uh, even though there's footages this is actually sped up um, well, most of the footage is actually sped up slightly moving quite slow and you can see how rocky it gets at points as I'm trying to go over some of these rocks. So you just got to be careful as you're going through, you wouldn't want to go too fast and bounce around like that. But it's not that hard to get through and you can do it with a stock car, pretty much normal stock four drive, you can get through this without any dramas. And it's beautiful, nice 
little bar, kind of a little bit of a sheltered cove there, and I think someone actually camping to the left, yeah, we'll see them there, to the left. Once you get past that, where we are, where the uh, red marker is there, um, we come around here, we're back onto sand, uh, I think there's someone camped to the right on that screen there too. So you're sitting uh, over to the, the end, so you've got to cut inland. I take that route where the red line is, and I'm wanting to get to where the bunker's at. The, the route to get you in there is, is, is a little bit softer, you have climb a slight hill, and it gets a little bit rocky to go through it, which is just coming up. But it's not very, it's it's not overly difficult. You do get a little bit of bumps going up through some of it. Not quite like that, but hey, um, this is it. So it's not a big deal. Uh, through it. It's kind of soft. That's the little, get kind of tight and you do end up on some angles with that soft sand. So just take it nice and easy when you're going through having to rock that car too much. Uh, we weren't tilting too far one way or the other. Obviously conditions can change, you could obviously be worse, worse or better. Um, some people walk all the way from where parking further back, because I know in that flat section, you didn't quite see it on the, on the vision because I, I cut it out, but there's a flat section. Some people park in there and just walk down there. It's quite easy to drive through, most of So once you come through this section, um, it then it'll open right up, and once it opens right up, it uh, enables you to one turn turn back around. Uh, but whilst being careful of the limestone rocks here, because there are quite a few of them right as you can see on the screen, some of that limestone rock problem that. Uh, it was occurring before. So once you're in that area, this is a big wide open area. So this is on location. This is North Head itself. This is where there are um, this aerial view of what it looks like from above. It's really looks nice from above, but yeah. That's one of the bunkers. There's two there. So this is there are old no longer taken care of. Obviously where guys used to sleep when they were stationed here during that time period. All of all of them now. That's that. Uh, there's a little cove on the inside, just near North Head. This is at the uh, very end of North Head, as far as you can actually go. And we'll do a 360 view of North Head itself. Uh, and as you look back, you can also see right back towards Sandy Cave, um, Sandy Camp itself. There's a little memorial there for um, someone who passed away from a shark attack. That's what that one was. And to the south, where I've just panned from, is the other location. You can fish, but uh, um, that's it's full of weeds throughout that. But so yeah, just beyond where I was looking at there, if you wanted to do some of that fishing. And then that's where you need to sort of go to. The other pop up on the screen shortly that is from the Fisheries website that shows you where you can and can't fish while you're there. Um, a lot of it is green, so the green's all um, protected, you can't do anything. And red marks where you can fish. So south of North Head and right up towards where we finished is where you can fish. So I hope you find that helpful and informative and it might have uh, given you a bit of an experience on Sandy Cake. If you found it helpful or informative, like, subscribe, leave a comment and um, thank you very much for listening. Cheers.